I want to reveal something to you. I think all patients and family members should be interested in this. Um, the power of medications on your mind. What medications can do to us. How they can dumb us down. How they can um, cognitively affect us. How they can affect our memory. So I, I think this is this is incredible. Um, number one, I would not be here. I I I would not have been here for the past. Maybe I don't think I would have survived the past ten years had I not weaned off medications. And um, I would not be here. I would not be able to try to fight for health care had I had I not gotten off the medications. I would not have found out my actual diagnoses, uh, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and KRE malformation and severe sleep apnea, etc. had I not gone, gotten off the medications. But when I weaned off of the medications, I began to remember everything. I began to remember conversations and I, I, I think maybe a more accurate statement would be I was able to remember and process trauma better. And when I weaned off the medications, I began to remember everything uh, medical injuries, conversations, uh, um, and I wanted answers. I remembered that I was medically injured injured in the hospital, and I walked out, and my my life had had has never been the same. And I found out who was actually at fault. I never understood what had happened. I was brain injured. And I, I found out after I weaned off medications, I began to look for answers. And I found out which doctor was, is, was, is medically responsible for the brain injury. I began to uh, immediately question what happened during another surgery. I wanted answers. What was, what actually was done to me? I realized who was covering up. <coughs> I re realized who else was responsible. Because often we're blaming the surgeon for everything when, in fact, the uh, anesthesiologist is being protected. Uh, I wanted answers. What actually happened? I found out what happened. I found out what, what, what surgical damage was actually done. It wasn't an accident. It was deliberate. And I found out what, what what happened, why I stopped breathing after the surgery. Um, I realized, you know, that I had explicitly, I realized, so, uh, you know, some of the negligence that took place, whereas I explicitly said, I can't take powerful medications and I and after I stopped breathing in their care in front of them they sent me home with a, a bottle of 40 opioids after I just stopped breathing so literally playing Russian roulette with my life right um I realized 
years ago when I was pressing for a second opinion because I felt like I was being overdrugged and misdiagnosed. The second opinion, uh, after one doctor threatened me, the second opinion put me on another powerful drug that was contraindicated to be prescribed with the other drugs, shouldn't have been prescribed, and compounded my issues, made my issues worse, and made my battle even worse. So the second opinion I went for, the second opinion doctor deliberately put me on another drug, making my issues even worse. And everybody watched and said nothing. Other doctors watched this happen and said nothing. And I remained on that drug because I was too uneducated to understand what was being done to me. I remember a doctor doing the Baton score with me and they knew that I had Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and I didn't understand what was happening. I didn't understand what was that I was being assessed for a rare disease and I didn't understand that he knew that I had a rare disease. I didn't understand what was happening when I had my first brain MRI and, and uh, they knew that I had a disease and didn't explain, didn't explain it to me. I didn't understand that I was suffering from uh, respiratory depression from the medications I was being plied with sleep drugs. I was negligently being prescribed multiples of sleep drugs indefinitely. I didn't understand that other doctors were watching this and, and not saying anything. I came to understand that when they put braces on my teeth years ago, they did not assess me for sleep apnea. They didn't ask me if I was a mouth breather. They made my issues worse. And that all went under the radar. And my sleep issues got even worse because they were making an already small airway smaller, compounding my issues. And that was misdiagnosed as anxiety or depression, fighting for my life, not sleeping because of sleep apnea, continual misdiagnosis. I came to understand that my sleepwalking and sleep eating was being misdiagnosed by everybody. The sleep apnea was misdiagnosed by everybody. Everybody was, was um, being influenced. Doctors were being inf wrongly influenced by each other. Doctors were misdiagnosing me because other doctors were misdiagnosing me. This is the power that these medications can have on you. All of this can be going on and you, you don't understand because you're on medications.